Shalom, shalom, peace, power, and blessings, family, peace, power, and blessings. First and foremost, we want to give call Allah, Yahweh, by Shema, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shower, in the English tongue, all power, praise, glory, and honor be unto the Most High God, the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob, the God of the Bible. And we do that thing in the name of his only begotten son, who the world called Christ. It's your brother, man. Yasharala Mo, Mo Yasharala, either way it go, you know exactly what it's about to do. 2022, we still cutting cap and breaking down strongholds of Satan. That's on our people, man. One of the major strongholds, one of the biggest strongholds. We in the second covenant. Oh, you done told the brother he can't eat pork. Now he done came with this whole confession talking about we in the second covenant. That's the old covenant. We in the new covenant. Man, we cutting cap through the power and the spirit of Yahweh. By Shema Mashiach Yahweh Shai. First and foremost, we're going to start with the book of Hebrews, man. All right. Let's go to the New Testament. Let's go to everybody's favorite book when it comes to this new covenant talk, man. Right? And let's see what the Bible say, man, because a lot of people capping, man. And we need to cut that accordingly with this biblical scripture, man, with this biblical fact. Books say, if a man speak, let him speak as the oracles of God. And if he ain't got an answer, put his hand over his mouth, man. Okay? Let's do this decently in order. This is the book of Hebrews, man. We cutting the cap. We in the second covenant. We ain't got to do all that, brother. We in the second covenant. By the blood of Jesus, we been washed. And anybody who believe can confess the name of Jesus. And he's saved by belief. We in the second covenant, brother. We ain't under the old covenant, which was under the law of Moses. We in the new covenant. Well, let's deal with that. According to the New Testament. Getting straight there, man. It's the book of Hebrews, chapter 8, starting at verse 6. But now hath he obtained more excellent, a more excellent ministry, by how much also he is the mediator of a better covenant, a better. Hey, listen, that's where they start off at. Listen, brother, we is a better covenant, brother. The law of Moses was sufficient, brother. Now, listen, listen, which was established upon better promises. Hey, man, it's a whole new thing that's going on, right? Let's read it and cut this cap real quick. Follow me, fam. Walk with me. Watch this. For if that first covenant had been faultless then should no place have been sought for the second for finding fault with them stop the presses who is the them who is the them who is this second covenant concerned hey who is the covenant the first and the second concerning let's continue to read on for finding fault with them he said behold the days come saith the lord when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant. I regarded them not, saith the Lord. Hey, this is what you call Deuteronomy 28, 68. We got the clause from Moses, correct? But in that clause was put before us the gift and the curse, life and death. If we live by these things, we will reap all the blessings. We will be the head of the earth above all nations, as the book of Deuteronomy says. And if we didn't, we will play the tail or be below all nations. Lo and behold, through the, slub, the sub-Sahara slave trade, trail of tears, and various other demonic ways of destroying and breaking up the Hebrew name we find ourselves spread amongst all nations in captivity still to this day being what regarded not continuing on for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days after the slavery we talking about the book of revelations now we talking about the book of revelations when he say blessed are those who keep the commandments you understand what I'm saying man when he come to put us in our land he come to gather us from the four corners of the wind right then I hear me man let's continue on listen for this covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days saith the Lord I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts and I will be to them a God and they shall be to me a people and they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying know the Lord for all shall know me from the least to the greatest oh my gosh hey man let's let's just let's get let's get that no one time let's get that no one time man because a lot of people get caught up they get twisted up get bugged out you hear that word? No. You think, oh, man, what, is the, what does it mean? What does it mean to know the Lord? What does it mean? To, well, let's go, we're going to give that to you, man. Because there's a lot of propaganda going on out here about my Hebrew brethren saying that we adding on to the scriptures, taking away this, that, and the third. 
But I do not see anybody going through this book, precept upon precept, line upon line, here a little, there a little, saying the same consistent message from Genesis to Revelations, like we're about to do right now through the, through the power and spirit. Now listen, we started off in Hebrews, breaking down what the new covenant is, the second covenant. We're not in that covenant yet, man. We're not in that covenant yet. Every man still got to teach his neighbor this law, statutes, and commandments. We still got to tell our brothers to repent out here on these streets, man. That's the major message for Israel these days, man. Repent, man. Right? So we're not in the new covenant, man. Continuing on, man. Listen, this is first. This is the book of First John chapter 2, starting at verse 4. Watch this. No, we're going to start at verse 3. Watch this. I'm talking about that No, You understand what I'm saying? How you know the Lord? Let's deal with it, man. And hereby we do know that we know him. Uh, so lucky. If we keep his commandments, watch this, watch this for he that saith, I know him and keepeth not his commandments is a liar. And the truth is not in him. Ah, oh, boy, that's two verses. That's two. Hey, that's two. And hey, we got the new covenant and we got what the new covenant says. Knowing a brother is out the new Testament. We went to the new Testament. We got what the new covenant. The second covenant is we're not in that. Because the second covenant says that we wouldn't have to teach each other these law, statutes, and commandments, that they would be written in our heart. And the Most High would come down and put us all in our place, and he would be to us a God and us to him a people, man. Y'all not hearing me, man. Last but not least, let's go to the book of Jeremiah, where all of these texts was written. You want to deal with Hebrews 8 and 6? Well, where was that written? In the Old Testament. How do we prove that? Let's go to the book of Jeremiah. We're going to start at the chapter. We're going to start at chapter 31. And we're going to start at verse 31. This is Jeremiah chapter 31, starting at verse 31. And it reads, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand and bring them out of the land of Egypt. Which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith the Lord. Hey, listen, so the Lord loved us. He carried us out of Egypt. We still broke the commandments. We still did. Hey, listen, Moses go up there to get the commandments. We break the commandments. Listen, the Lord said, you're going to give us a second covenant. Let's deal with it, man. And it's going to be by a mediator. Christ, man. Hey, man, let's deal with this, bro. Let's deal with this. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the House of Israel, again, how that work, man? Who is them? Who is this covenant for? First and last, man. All right, listen, listen, listen. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write in their hearts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they will be my people and they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother saying, know the Lord for they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. That is the new covenant, my brother. That's the second covenant broken down to you by yours truly. Three verses. Man, you know what? Let's go, Romans. Just, hey, man, we're going to throw in the bonus, man. Let's just go Romans 9, man, because brothers really don't understand this thing, man. We go from Old Testament to New Testament. I dare you say that brothers is adding on to these scriptures. I ain't never seen nobody go precept upon precept, line upon line. All I hear is brothers out here talking about what they feel these scriptures mean. <laughs> you know what? Your feelings got you saying stupidness like we in the New Covenant and the Bible don't say that. You're going against God, too. Happily, you found a fight against God. Let's end off with Romans 9. Once again, man, all power, praise, and glory be unto the Most High God, Yahweh, and we do that in the name of His only begotten Son, by Hashem HaMashiach, Yahweh Shai. HaMashiach, man, the anointed, man, right? <laughs> I don't know what's going on, man. Or in the English tongue, we give all power, praise, and glory unto the Most High God, in the name of His only begotten Son, who the world called Christ. This is Romans 9. We're going to finish off with this. Ah. <sighs> This is everybody's favorite, man. And listen to what he say. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continued sorrow in my heart. For I wish that I myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren and my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. What? Who are Israelites? What? 
Paul said all his brothers that he know and love according to the flesh and who he came for and what he going into all of these churches for is for his brethren who are Israelites. Listen, brother, if you're not calling yourself a Hebrew and you're, and you're in here in America living under the curses, I don't know what to tell you. That's some spiritual blindness he put on you. Continuing on, who are Israelites to who pertain the adoption? What does this mean? The adoption, the re, the regrafting in of the lost sheep. Hey, the regrafting in of the people of the covenant back to their father and tree, who is Christ. Holy shamokes, the tree of life that is Christ. Continuing on, and the glory. Hey, man, when the father come, we're going to be reigning with him, man, in the kingdom of heaven, man. We're going to have this glory. Hey, listen, and the covenants. Did it say one? No, it said two. Does that mean the first covenant? Yes. Does it mean the second covenant? Yes. Who does it pertain to? Israelites. And the giving of the law and the service of God and the promises. Who are the fathers and of whom as concerning the flesh Christ came who is over all. God bless forever. Amen. With that. Y'all better stop capping on my father's name out here, man. And if you can't prove it with these scriptures, shame on you, bro, because you're going to be called least in the kingdom for misleading the sheep and dispersing the flock. Shalom.